Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. Um, it's just a quick video because I want to chat about um, Mike Elliott leaving Mercedes and a speculation from Sky Sports F1 that um, Lewis Hamilton may have had something to do with that. Um, but besides that I also want to reveal, you probably already know, the team principal that has accused Alonso of spreading this rumour himself. Um, it's sort of, I, I love F1, I really do. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with uh, Mike Elliott. So, as we saw, uh, Mercedes Chief Technical Officer Mike Elliott has handed in his resignation just days before the Brazilian Grand Prix. Elliott had only been in his current role for six months, but has decided to move on. With Mercedes yet to announce his successor, the team wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, After 11 incredible years, Chief Technical Officer Mike Elliott has chosen to depart the team. Mike has been one of the pillars of the team's achievements and we thank him for everything he has brought to the team. We wish you the best of luck with your next chapter, Mike. But that's not all. So, Sky Sports have speculated that Lewis Hamilton's frequent calls for change might have played a role um, in Elliot's departure. Hamilton has often expressed his unhappiness with the direction of the Mercedes car development. He spent most of 2022 fighting with the W13 and has scarcely found the W14 to be much more suitable. Despite a recent upturn in form, Hamilton's frustrations are likely not the only reason for Elliot's departure, but there is reportedly a sense that they played a role. And we need to remember that uh, Mike Elliott was responsible for the zero side, side pod uh, concept. So maybe that just doesn't work with that car because apparently next year's car from Mercedes is going to be very, very different to what George and Lewis have been driving for the last couple of years. Um, so anyway, in sticking with Hamilton briefly, he has handed more pressure onto Sergio Perez with the Mexican driver now battling for second place in the Drivers' Championship following Perez's DNF and Hamilton's second place in Mexico. Hamilton is only 20 points behind Perez now, and Hamilton said, I think it all depends on Perez's performance. He has the title win in Red Bull, and I think he has been very unhappy at times in certain scenarios. Obviously, he has lost points in the last two races, but so have I. And anyway, you probably already guessed, if you don't know, that um, accused Alonso of uh, starting his own rumours, and it's Helmut Marker. So he suggested that Fernando Alonso started the rumours about a switch from Aston Martin to Red Bull himself. Marco told F1 Insider, As for the rumours about Alonso, I can well imagine that Alonso spread them himself, because his results with Aston Martin have been very disappointing recently, after the brilliant start to the season. God, that's, that's a bit of a kick there, isn't it? <laughs> um, he went on to say, I wouldn't be the first, it wouldn't be the first time that he has used home media to create a mood. Once again, and for the record, we only have sporting goals in mind that we will keep ourselves busy with until the last race in Abu Dhabi. And they are that we want to win all the races and make it clear to Perez that he is runner-up. And just to finish off quickly, because this is it's only recent, recently been announced, but um, Friday is expected to produce a very wet practice session. And remember, there's only one practice session again this weekend because it's a sprint race at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Um, so that, you know, that there's a chance of some thundery downpours causing further problems for qualifying later on that afternoon. So... We could, we could see a, 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 you know, um, a qualifying session that's completely different to what we're normally used to seeing. So uh, I'll try and keep an eye out on the weather for that. But um, first, well, first practice is up. Not many hours away now, is it? So uh, yeah. Um, anyway, so hopefully you'll enjoy the Brazilian Grand Prix this weekend. This is one of my favourite tracks. I really do like Brazil. Um, so if you do like what I do, I do please like and subscribe because it really would, you know, help the channel to grow, and it, I, I really do appreciate your support. Honestly, I really do. So thank you for that. And if you want to press the notification bell, uh, feel free to do so. You'll get warnings of my videos, which 
quite frequent at the moment. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, good or bad thing, I don't know, let me know. But um, until next time, take care.